Jazara. Hey, but man, uh, this man has been going in in Florida. Definitely one of the top dogs, especially coming out of Smash 4. Had a very successful run there, but he's certainly transferred that success over to Ultimate, where Rob is looking like a pretty legit and threatening character. Yeah, and I think coming off a of glitch, he was top 32, so definitely no yeah. slouch. Uh, I think he got ninth, bro. Yeah, he went ham. True, yeah. Or, or he, 13th, maybe. I think he lost his loser's top 8 qualifier to mistake, that's right. Right. Um, and meanwhile, Jazara uh, is not coming to me what state he's from, but... All I know I is know that he was hyped when he saw song. us on the mic. He, yeah. he got yeah. mad hype when he, he saw oh, us. Oh, that, so. that's hilarious. Let's, All right, so I'm it, hyped man. to see him on the sticks. Looks like it's going to be uh, Palutena from Jazara versus... All right, Ape Man going with the Inkling. That is his secondary character. So he's got both available to him. Uh, very uh, different character pool, right? right? You've got a tiny kind of slugger character. Meanwhile, Rob is a big body kind of zoning right. type. He, he's not trying to get scooped by that Nair, man. He wants that slim body. Right. And Inkling, definitely a good choice over Rob in this matchup. I feel like Politanic can just chop him up with those neutral airs super hard. And you see that additional mobility, these throw combos that Inkling has, you know, go um, for one aerial into the next. And he's off already that. off to a strong start, man. Already racking it up to 93%. Yep. Jazara, though, still hanging on, of course. I feel like in this game, man, just like in Smash 4, but times three, if you're hanging on to that stock, the percent almost doesn't matter right. sometimes. And not so much because of rage, but just because of how quickly you can pile those hits on top of each other. Especially with these two characters, like the punish game is real. Yeah. Absolutely. Ooh, narrowly avoids the, the roller. Saw so that, that paint slowed him down. Got him away from that dash grab. All right, Ape Man. I like the, the hidden tech. Of course, being a Rob player, you got to know the ins and outs of that character Ooh, to get by. Misses the teleport, goes on stage. Easy punish there for Ape Man. Oh wow, the up smash exploding yeah, the, the spy bomb. Yeah, I saw that, that was crazy. Ape Man Whips is fighting. on the forward smash. Yep, I'm gonna fight his way out with dash attack. And now let's see how far he can take this lead. Got all that ink on Palutena right now, she's gonna be taking more damage. Oh, but the cross up. Spot dodge, one of the few things that allows opponents to tr uh, pass through you because you become intangible. Nice, scoops him with the nair, but still alive. Amazing DI there from Ape Man. Yeah. Got to be really careful when she goes for those nares off stage. Sometimes you can just barely cling to life very high up in the corner. All right, the auto reticle coming out. Ooh, and reflecting the splat bomb that actually had just enough knockback to do it. It looked like it barely killed. That's not a move that's necessarily too strong in terms of knockback, but the set play you get off of it is great. Teleports right through the grenade. Nair train? No. Goes for the forward air. Wanted to get him off stage. I respect it. Yeah, just cutting it short in favor of the stage positioning and the raw damage. All right, Nair's out of shield from Ape Man, though. He's keeping this going. A little bit on the chase right now. Meanwhile, Jazara <clears throat> content to sit back and throw these auto reticles. Such a great projectile. Looking for those down tilt two frames, though. Palutena, one of the best characters at scooping up recoveries like that. Shield pokes there with the up air. Ape Man threatening, just bullying him to the corner right now. Oh, and misses the ledge cancel, but still Jazara hanging on. The roller, oh, that's gonna do it. Call out from A Bitman into the forward smash. I like that little crawl back and forth. Mini taunt there, almost. Now we see A Bitman not necessarily too worried about closing the distance, but he does want to keep the pressure on. Play with this lead while you have it. Maybe take a couple trades, even though Palutena probably out damages Inkling blow for blow. Still, while you have a stock lead and you're relatively healthy, it's a good time to do that. Good trump there. He's gonna be able to get the edge guard. Ooh, whiffs on the up smash. Inkling in good position right now, racking it up. All this is extra credit. Okay, gonna get back, but catches the ledge roll. We've got Jazara on the verge of evening up the stocks here. Not too much extra credit for 8 Man yet. All right, gonna fire those auto reticles. Just bring Inkling closer and closer to kill percents. Ooh, but you see Jazara freezing up just a little bit. 8 Man capitalizing on that. The clutch factor coming through. Very seasoned high level player here. Okay, Ape Man still on the chase, wants to take a little bit more percent. I love that parry, but unfortunately buffered a spot dodge off of it. Probably looking for maybe down tilt or something with down involved. Gonna throw the explosive flame, force a weird recovery angle, but Ape Man Ooh. able to adjust. That was almost it there. And now he's cooking at this point. This is all but over for Jazari here. A one roller into a smash attack will close it out. But you're never truly out in Smash Brothers. You can kill somebody at 0%, for example. Okay, I, I like that, uh, trying to edge cancel with the up B. Gets him with the forward tilt. Let's go, Jazara. Yep, just one of her many solid buttons, especially when your opponent's on the edge. 
very difficult to come back against her. All right, let's see what Jazar has. Palutena does have some nice 30, 40, 50% strings, depending on the openers you get. But Ape Man oh, just going to tuck right, right under right the under the reticle. Damn, Ape Man cooking right now. And Jazar has to play this so safe. The, the threat of up air, killing, roller as well. He's going to have to be very careful to bring himself back into this. All right, guys. Forward air, just going to push him out. 15. Not strong enough to do the job just yet, but still... Ape Man holding down this center stage, or goals. near the ledge rather, he's holding his stage Four control captains, down. You guys can start DQing, folks. And Jazara, it looks like he just wants to Again, retreat, fire some more projectiles, build damage two. in that way. Captains, Auto reticle no just shows, not panning out, angling a bit too small and quick now. of a target. Yeah, he, he needs to be careful at the ranges that he's doing it at. Ape Man's been able to get in there. Okay, Back that throw. should do it. Yeah, alright. Ape Man taking game one. Alright, uh, and Jazara, I, I just want to guess that he's from NorCal or AZ. I know it's like one of the West Coast regions, I'm pretty sure, um, but if somebody could hit me on Twitter, I don't have service right now, but uh, I'll check and see where he is truly Hometown from. Hometown hero, either way. It doesn't matter yeah, where either he's way, from. Yeah, yeah. Hometown hero, his, man. Let's get it. His region is Genesis. Exactly. All right, so going into this next match, uh, I'm not sure what the character pool looks like for Jazara, but no reason to really switch off the Palutena, I'd say. He did quite well, got it close, you know, last stock, low mid percent range. You could definitely turn that around. Um, oh, but Ape Man actually going to make the switch to Rob. Maybe just felt like he could have outperformed his inkling. Or maybe it's because of the stage. We're going to go to Lilac Cruise, a stage that hasn't made too many appearances at tournaments. But it is legal here at G6. And we see Ape Man, I guess, just probably because inkling wasn't in Smash 4 for him to play on the stage with. Uh, maybe making that switch. Maybe the terrain just works better for him. Yeah, the, the thing I'm noticing about Jazara is he's trying to keep this at a long-range distance where I feel as though Palutena, she really thrives with her burst options. You need to threaten space up close, bully them into the corner. Yeah, and also just those buttons in general, man. Back air canceling out pretty much every move. Um, down tilt and forward tilt with such great range. You have a lot of up close options, and against Rob rather than Inkling, I think we're really going to see him fall back on that a bit more. And you have the reflector slash counter to keep the projectiles at bay. That's nice. That win box of forward smash just keeping 8 man a little bit away. Oh, didn't have enough charge on his laser. Oh, oh it's so dangerous. That was close. so close, but he still gets him with the up smash on the neutral getup. That was just the opposite version of down air. You know? <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh, gets the counter. All right. Let's see, Jazara. Are you able to peel this stock off before 8 man just takes that chip damage and puts you, you know, near death or at a very significant disadvantage? Oh! Side B, that should Yo, do it! Yo, it. smash all three, baby! Got it, bro! Alright, uh, Rob is Rob a problem, Bain's man. rejoicing right now, man. Rob the problem. Got that software update, dog. Yeah, this guy got a patch for sure. Alright, we're gonna see the up-close pressure from 8-Bit Man. You got down tilt. Neutral air generally can cover a lot of their defensive responses after that safe down tilt. Ooh, oh! The... Yo! He's flexing, bro. Yo, Weird flex, but okay. Weird Lilat flex, but okay. We'll take it. I feel like that's universal, man. Not just this part of the galaxy. My bear still alive. Rob, a big body. 8-Bit Man just really off to a huge lead here. I don't know what Jazara can do to make this one back, but Ferris to down tilt. Oh my god, this pressure from 8 Man right now. Back air will do it. Okay, Jazara keeping himself in it, but he has a lot of work to do if he wants to make it back. Yeah, finally getting on the board here. It's looking like the switch to Rob is paying off in spades for 8 Man. Again, not sure what the rationale was. Was it the stage? Was it how he performed with the Inkling? Not really sure. Either way, it's been working out great. Jazara now finally getting some damage in here. That's not going to take it. But he keeps the chase going. All right. Ape Man locking Jazara down in the corner yet again. But not afraid. Not going to give him that roll that Ape Man was looking for. Right. Just fires from far away. I really like that fade back fair there to avoid the smash attack. Okay, what's the setup going to be? Oh! Ooh. Yo, he was scheming there. Ape Man All is right. a schemer, bro. Oh, and... Punish? Okay. Yo, three stock to one comeback? You got those, Jazara? As strong as that last hit of side B is, man, the move is so unsafe on block that you can't just be throwing it out like that. Ape Man, though, knows he has the lead to play with at this point. Yeah, comfortable just staying back, letting it come to him. But he has to watch out for those Nair strings, man. Jazara's looking crisp right now. Yeah, and the damage that Rob is going to take from Palutena's combos a lot more than Inkling does with her small frame. Oh! oh the snipe! <laughs> Halo Reach right there. Dude. Ho homie said... Give me that, that reticle. I need that, bro. Yeah, right? I don't even need the auto-aim, man. I got...